Hi, welcome to Let's Play Guitar. Today we are checking out how to play Hold by the River by James Bay. It's a beautiful song with the signature guitar melody riff in the very beginning that we're gonna learn. And we're also gonna learn a few chords that we're playing during the chorus and the bridge. So it's relatively easy to play and not that difficult. And we are uh, using, you can use a pick to play it, using, using, you can use the fingers to play it, or you can use both ways to do it. So I'm gonna show you all the things that you can do with this song. Let's get into it. All right, then let's learn how to play this riff, opening riff, which also goes on for the first verse. So we're using fifth string and the second string to play two notes at a time. And we're moving these shapes up the neck to complete the riff. So the first one that you have is on the fifth fret of the fifth string, and you have your ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string. All right, so five and six over here. So I'm playing this with my fingers, the thumb and the middle. You can also play this with a pick and your finger like this. Okay, but we're just going to use fingers for now. So 5 and 6, then you change to 7 and 8. So 7th fret on the 5th string and 8th fret on the B string. Okay, so then you go to 1 fret up on the 5th string. So this is now 8th fret on the 5th string and the 10th fret on the B string. So you have, okay, so, now the next shape is, okay, so you are now on the 12th fret of the 5th string and you're on 13th fret of the 2nd string. And then you move 1 fret up on the 5th string, now this is the 13th fret and 2 frets up on the B string, so 15th fret over here. So this is, okay, then you go back to 12 and 13, okay, so you have, and then go down to 8 and 10 again, so this will be, so till now you have Then again, so this comes two times, okay? So till now you will have 12, 13, 12, 8. Again, 12, 13, 12, 8. And then, now this last part over here can be played in different ways. You know, you can do something like that. So what we're doing basically over here is you slide down from your 10th fret to the 8th fret on the B string. Then you hit the 6th fret on the B string. So you get. And then you hit the 5th fret. And then you hit the 8th fret on the 1st string. While the 5th is ringing. Okay, so don't mute the B string. So you get. Another thing that you can do is, okay, this is uh, what James Bay does sometimes in, in his live um, versions. You have a slide from the 5th fret to the 6th fret on the B string and then you play the 8th fret on the 1st string. So you can have, okay, so this is the riff that you have for the very beginning. Once again, the whole riff. This one again. In the end, okay, and you just keep repeating this. Now, another thing that I wanted to add uh, sometimes I like to do this. Okay, so here nothing special. You're just having your know, first, you're on the 12th fret. Now, the frets I'm talking about the fifth string. 
go to the 13th fret and then play this again and then go back to your 12th fret so you have then go back to your 8th fret so instead of you can do yeah it sounds nice as an improvisation that you can add on now this riff is actually played on all the verses okay so for the verse you keep playing this riff Try to keep you, close to me. you know with the words now you do this um, for the verse and then you go to the chorus of the song all right now we go to the chorus now the structure of the song is you have a little paragraph of the verse then you have a little paragraph of the chorus four lines and then again four lines for the verse four lines chorus you know like that so for the first chorus you just want to strum all the chords just once okay the song is not building up yet it's going on on the second chorus so for the first one let me just tell you the chords that we're using the first one that we're using is a sharp major or uh, B flat, however you want to call it. So for this one, you have your A chord over here, like a bar chord. Move it one fret up. Eighth fret on the fifth string, eighth fret on the fourth string, seventh fret on third string, and sixth fret on the fifth string. We're not really using the first string yet. Yet. Okay. This is the first chord, and the next chord that we're moving to is F major. So you can play it over here, but I like to do it over here. Okay, so you have your pinky on the 8th fret of the 5th string, ring finger on the 7th fret of the 4th string, and then we're here like a D shape, have a bar um, on the 5th fret, first 3 strings, and your middle is on the 6th fret of the B string. So you really need till the, fifth, till the B string, you don't need the 1st string yet. Okay, if you find this difficult, you can play your natural F chord or over here on the 8th fret okay so hold back the river let me look in your eyes again hold back the river so I then change the chord to F major can't stop for a minute and see where you hide again back the river hold back then you go to the second verse once upon Sky. and then two more lines and then you get back, get back to your chorus now for this chorus you can hold your pick and play down strums okay I also like to use palm muting so you keep your palm just where the strings begin just very lightly just where the strings begin and then start strumming so mainly like I told you earlier we're using the top strings and you go one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight so 16 counts over here, then one more time 16 counts. So you will have hold back the river, let me look in your eyes again. Hold back the river so high. Okay, so total 32 counts. Then you go to your F chord. Now sometimes what he likes to do is he likes to move from F to C. Stop for a minute be by your side. So 16 counts on F, then go to C. Hold back the river, hold back. You know, you can divide the second part of the second two lines into F and C. So you will have hold back the river, let me look in your eyes. Hold back. Like now I can also like to use my thumb over here for the sixth fret. Hold back the river, So to F. C. Then go back to the verse. Now this was actually the same melody, but now you're doing whoa. So you see my right hand now. I'm continuously picking these two strings. Okay. So the right hand is pretty constant. Just move the left hand. You know. And then you go to the bridge of the song. 
Now the bridge is repeated two times actually, once and then the chorus comes and the bridge comes again. Okay, so for the first time, um, the guitar is not really there, so you're just gonna strum all the chords just once. I'm gonna tell you the chords. You start with F major. Now I'm doing F over here now. Holy water. Again F. Holy water, won't you? Move to A sharp. Wonder, or just play it over here. Let us wonder, and then after this, you move to G minor chord. Okay, now it's played this way fifth string, fifth fret, fifth fret on the fifth and fourth strings, and I have a bar over here on third fret. But I'm playing it this way. You just need three notes over here, these three notes are the same as these three notes on, on the third fret. So you have eighth fret on the fourth string, you have seventh fret on the third string, and you have eighth fret again on B string. Okay, so again, F major, won't you let us A wonder, move to G minor, again, Right? Again, we water won't you as wonder as wonder and then the song is building up, then you go back to our your chorus. Hold back the river, let me look in your eyes. Hold back the river so I... move F chord. Move to C. You know, the whole chorus, four lines, and then you go back to Lonely Water. So now this time, you're going to strum as well on the chords. So start with F, Lonely, just all down strums. Lonely Water, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move to A sharp. G minor. Now you can use the proper G minor. Okay, once again. Again, and the song stops, and then you go back to the riff in the very ending. Um, there are no lyrics, and just this riff that we learned in the very beginning, you play it again. Okay, that is the ending of the song. All right, so that is it for this lesson of James Bay. Um, this is my first lesson that I'm doing uh, by James Bay. So I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, then make sure to give this video a like. I really appreciate all of your um, support and feedback. Let me know in the comments how it was for you. And um, yeah, subscribe to my channel for more guitar lessons. I have a lot of uh, lessons, easy lessons that you can play. And um, I will see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye.